Hi, this is Akshi Sharma. I'm here today to discuss the topic immediate dentures from prosthodontics. As the word signifies immediate, that means immediately or soonly after extraction. And denture is an artificial substitute that replaces the missing teeth and the surrounding structures. So immediately after the extractions, the dentures we provide to the alveolar ridge is known as immediate denture. Now any removable dental prosthesis fabricated for placement immediately following the removal of natural tooth is known as immediate denture. What are the advantages? Number one, maintenance of patient appearance is there. That is, as soon as the teeth are removed, then the artificial substitute or the denture is provided. So the appearance of the patient is not at all affected. Number two, it acts as a bandage or splint. That is, it provides medication to the underlying socket or the fresh bleeding points are exposed and the bleeding is stopped by the denture then there is less post-operative pain as there is proper medication the socket is not exposed to the oral environment or the bacteria so there is resultantly less post-operative pain vertical dimension jaw relations face height tongue position is maintained as obviously there is less of the bone resorption and uh, the tongue position or the natural dentition is almost simultaneously maintained by the immediate denture. Digestive function is unhampered as the teeth are present. So the chewing efficiency or the mastication of the food is also present and there is no digestive function which is hampered. Then preservation of the residual ridge obviously as I have said before, there is always a preservation of the residual ridge as less of the bone resorption takes place and patient's social, psychological, professional status is maintained. What are the disadvantages? Anterior trine is not possible. Trine is actually not possible because as soon as the extraction is done, then over it, the immediate denture is provided. So there is no time for trying then more chair side time is al always required inaccurate jaw relations are possible because the natural dentition is different from the artificial dentition or the teeth acrylic teeth or dentures so there can be inadequacy in the jaw relations temporary impairment in speech and mastication now the immediate dentures are indicated in the patients whose anterior teeth need to be extracted and posteriorly well healed sockets are present. That means whose, who are posteriorly edentulous, only their anterior teeth either upper or lower are present. In such cases, we provide immediate dentures. The posterior teeth, the posterior ridges should be almost well healed. Now, I am going to tell you about impression techniques. There are two impression techniques. Number one is single impression technique and number two is dual impression technique. First talking about single impression technique. Now, as I said, the posteriorly the areas are edentulous and interiorly the teeth are present. So what we are going to do is, we are first going to make a spacer 1 mm wax thickness posteriorly and 2 mm wax thickness interiorly in the region where teeth are present and then we are going to put one stop anteriorly and two stops posteriorly you can see in this figure as there is one stop anteriorly and two stops are present posteriorly in the edentulous ridge then after this is done then we are going to fabricate a custom tray. The custom tray is fabricated and then an impression is taken with the help of heavy or light body putty material. As the impression is taken, the interdental spaces between the teeth are covered up and then the impression is taken. The cast is poured and the rims are attached to it. Then teeth are attached to it and then fabrication of the denture is done. Now we are going to talk about dual impression technique. In dual impression technique, we don't cover all the teeth. 
we just cover the posterior edentulous areas and then we cover the cingulum of the anterior teeth present we don't cover overall anterior teeth that are present we just cover the cingulum of the anterior teeth then border molding is done of just the posterior area whereas in single impression technique the border molding was done all over the custom tray both anteriorly and posteriorly but in dual impression border molding is, is done just posteriorly then what we do is we fabricate a custom tray and then we take an impression with the help of zinc oxide eugenol impression material after we have taken this impression we take the impression out of, from the mouth of the patient we trim the custom tray and we replace the replace the impression on the patient's mouth after we have done this after we have replaced the custom tray removing the handles then the pickup impression as seen in rpd we do the same impression and stock tray is taken and the alginate impression is taken over the custom tray so this is the whole impression that is going to be seen after that we pour the cast and then we trim off the interiors we place the artificial teeth on the hole of the ridge and then jaw relation and occlusion is taken and then the denture is fabricated now talking about the post insertion care the patient is seen 24 hours after denture insertion obviously the patient is recalled after 24 hours to see whether there are any high points or there are any problem to the patient medication is all can always be applied beneath the denture then denture is removed and cleaned patient is asked to rinse with mouthwash the denture is after the patient is recalled after 24 hours the denture is removed and it is cleaned the patient is asked to clean his oral mouth and to he has to take care of his oral hygiene after that gross discrepancies like over extension and pressure spots are corrected so that the patient is relieved from any irregular points insertion and removal of the denture is taught to the patient this is in every case of the every denture the patient is always instructed how to remove and how to insert the denture in his or her mouth then denture to be worn at night till one week as there is a post operative operative swelling after extraction so to subside the swelling or till the swelling subsides the patient has to wear the denture in night till one week one week is approximate time till the mucosa or the gingiva or the alveolar ridge comes back to the normal the swelling is subsided now occlusal correction is done after one week as the bit of the swelling subsides so the occlusal correction is done so that the masticatory efficiency of the patient is back relining is done with tissue conditioners every week tissue conditioners have a basic property of conditioning the tissues they provide a soothing effect to the tissue so initially the relining is done with the tissue conditioners and every week the relining is done so that the proper fit of the denture is maintained patient is recalled after one month to refine the occlusion the patient after one week the next appointment to the patient is given after one month so that the occlusion is refined and the patient aesthetic functional and mastication efficiency all are seen into consideration then relining is done relining can be done by heavy body elastomeric impression material or light body elastomeric impression material the advantage of relining is done is that cases of loose fitting dentures whenever relining is done it, the proper fit of the denture is maintained and the impression or the intaglio surface is modified so that the denture seats properly over the alveolar ridge be it maxilla or mandible so hence we conclude that immediate dentures are important part of prosthodontics and it helps in various parts so that 
the occlusion or the aesthetic the psychological aspects of the patient does not get affected and the patient does not live without a teeth even for a single day thank you